Hi Sagittarius, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your May 2022 weekly reading. I am in the middle of pulling your, whoops, your oracle cards. And now I am going to pull your um, tarot. For those of you who have never seen me before, I am a psychic and a medium. I read tarot a little bit different than many of the tarot readers online because I am not a book learned tarot reader. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm looking at four different areas of your life for the week. I'm looking at the present position. I'm looking at the strength. I'm looking at the challenges and I'm looking at the potential outcome. Spirit for Sagittarius, may I please have the present position? What will validate this reading? What will make sense to them? May I have the present position, please? Thank you. Four of Cups in reverse. May I have the present position? What will validate this reading for Sagittarius? We have the Ace of Wands. Oh, they want the, I see. They want the Ace of Wands upright, Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, <laughs> spirit. Uh, it's meant to be a quick general reading, not a long reading. But we've got four cards coming out here in your present position, so I've got to take them. Spirit may have the strength for Sagittarius for that week. Can I have the strength for Sagittarius for the week? Can I have the strength? May I have the strength, Spirit? What, what does Sagittarius need to know? I don't see how that is a strength. Are you kidding me? Uh, you need to clarify, please. Clarify the devil and the strength. Clarify the devil and so they said to put it in the challenge. Can I have the strength position, please? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. I still don't see you want it in the challenge. Okay. Well, at some point, can you give me the strength? Crying out loud. Can I have the strength? You want the last four cards? That's the strength. You're doing things a bit funky, this reading spirit. What's going on here? And you want them all in the upright. <laughs> God. For those of you who've never seen me before, it's not usually Monty Python's show here. I don't know what's going on here with the energy, with your energy here. And you want this over here, thank you. Can I have then, what does Sagittarius need to know? What will help, help them? What will mo motivate them? What will give them hope? What will give them guidance spirit? Can I have the outcome, please? Can I have the outcome? Thank you. Wow, we have temperance. We have the queen of wands in the reverse. Can I have the outcome spirit thank you and you want the emperor in the upright thank you all right, Sagittarius, this is a bit of, uh, your energy came out very strange. Not like the usual way that it flies out. 
in any of the readings. So Spirit, I need you to bring it forward here. What's going on with Sagittarius this week? We have the, um, the following in your present position. So we have the Four of Cups in the reverse position. We have the Ace of Wands in the upright position. We have the Four of Wands in the reverse position. So for some of you, what we have here going on is a letting go. Well, um, you're letting go of something that you are attached to. And this is a general reading, so please change up the, uh, change it to resonate with why you're watching the reading or what makes sense to you. So it could be, even though I may be talking about a person, change it up to person, situation, place, or thing. So it looks like here in your energy, um, you are, uh, there is something that has ended in your life, you're releasing it. And it's something that for a long time you were attached to. It's for a long time you were um, definitely uh, not in harmony with it. It was something that left you uh, unfulfilled. It was something that you hoped would get better over time. Um, but it was a long period, it seems, of you thinking about something and something that was very, very, um, something that you really, for some of you, had a very um, tight emotional attachment to. So you're letting this go in your present position because Four of Cups came out in the reverse. Now, the reason why you've been able to let it go is because there's a passionate new beginning here. We have the Ace of Wands coming in. And so it looks like uh, for some time there, you were struggling in, you wanted a new beginning. You were after a new beginning. You were even doing things, because I got the Wizard of Awareness here in your Oracle card. You were even doing things to manifest a new beginning, right? So it's not like change wasn't taking place and it wasn't deliberate. It definitely was deliberate. But this Four of Cups energy here had you very, it was very difficult to detach from. It wasn't a matter of just waking up one day. Well, it was for some of you. Kind of like waking up one day saying, I'm done with this. Um, but it, it wasn't that easy once you made that decision to let go of it as easily as you thought it would. Because it felt like, you know, for some time that you had let it go and um but here we have something new coming into your life or has recently come into your life and it's created a lot of passion within you and it is burning inside of you and so where you were having difficulty letting something go you're now not having that difficulty because what we have here is a possibility of an absolutely new foundation. So the Four of Cups is in reverse because it shows that something in, in the foundation of your life uh, has now ended. And um, it's also in the reverse position under the Ace of Wands, which is in the upright position, because it's showing that you want a new foundation. Um, you want to replace that foundation. And so what we have here in the Oracle is balancing act, right? So what we have is a balancing act of kind of getting everything done, managing your time, managing your energy, managing your expenses, managing your emotions, managing all the things that require your attention. And as you let go um, of all of this, it seems as if here that you feel very empowered. Um, it feels like you feel very empowered in regards to moving forward in a new dynamic, in a new situation, in a new partnership. And that is coming out really strongly. You are in, you know, as you're, you know, the thing is you're still looking back though, right? So you still, some of you are still kind of reminiscing, but you do have that reminiscing energy, Sagittarius. You do reminisce about the past quite a lot. Now, don't argue with me, because you do. Um, whether you verbalize that or not, you most certainly do reminisce about good memories from the past. 
and you can attach to that quite strongly and that's why um you're look you're looking back in the strength position some nice energy coming out here for you in the strength position this week we've got the knight of swords so definitely sitting in your truth definitely going after what you want really very very oops bloody hell um <laughs> oh christ dropped again <laughs> um spirit come on now control yourself um it looks like uh there's a lot of let me just go through these cards here we've got the knight of swords we've got the ace of coins in the upright we've got the six of wands in the upright we've got the king of cups you're in love sagittarius uh, if you're not in love and again change it up to person place situation or thing when I say you're in love and you're watching this because of a career um, it could be a career that you love but just so I'm not jumping all over the place I'm going to be talking about a person because suddenly that's what's coming out in the strength energy but please change it up to you know in a general reading change it up to what makes sense to you so what I see here is that you're in love there is a situation that is extremely powerful in your life I feel like you're going after it with all four cylinders I feel here that no matter what you're going to conquer it you're going to it, it is the apple of your eye you're focused on it and uh, you want it you want it bad and here we have the ace of coins right that's all your emotions attached to it and that's a beautiful thing after what you've been through in the four of cups right because in the four of cups what we have in this energy here is um, a situation that there is um, uh, unrequited love almost or something that was not reciprocal so if it's like a business if it's like um, employment, if it's in family relationships, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm specifically talking about love because it's coming across quite strongly now in the reading. But again, it shows here that, it, that whatever you were dealing with was not reciprocal and you were putting energy into it and you were kind of loyal to it. I say kind of with tongue in cheek here because I feel here that you were one foot in and one foot out but your heart was attached to it. You were committed to the situation regardless. And here in this energy, it just shows that um, whatever this is, whatever has ignited your passion right here in the present energy in the Ace of Wands, you are now ready to move forward. And Sagittarius, um, when you're ready to move forward, you're ready to move forward and there's no stopping you. And so what we have is an abundance of new emotions. It's a brand new beginning. And for those of you that can take it like a something financial or investment wise, there is a there is a desire to plant roots somewhere else. There is a desire to take your investments and put them somewhere else. And there's an, uh, you know, and for others of you that can take this as love, um, there is just an absolute uh, um, flow of your energy in regards to emotions that you have not experienced in a long time. And I feel like you kind of dip your toe in it and uh, it, I think I'm going into the challenge right now. You dip your toe on it, in it, and you what what you don't want to do is fool yourself into thinking that it's something that it's not. So you know we got a little bit of guardedness there, but but the energy is flowing within you, and you can't really stop it anymore with your mind because your mind is very strong, Aquari uh, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Your mind is extremely strong. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius but um that was a Freudian slip there I I when I'm looking at this what it feels like is uh in your strength energy is abundance is yours to behold um Sagittarius and here we see victory now um what's interesting about this is uh you know that you have victory you know that you've gotten what you want but there's an energy, what's the next card? Um, so here we have the King of Cups, right? So we have victory in something that you love, something that you're engaged in, something that brings you pleasure, something that opens your heart, something that opens your mind and your spirit. And uh, what we have is this, um, 
very uh, strong energy of ambition, of wanting to move forward in a way that there is no way that, that the only outcome is to win. So um, that's what's that's that's in the strength and that's really, really positive. For those of you that can take this as a love reading, 100% you're in love or you're falling in love. You know, you're trying to stop it because you're Sagittarius, right? So you're, you're trying to control it with your mind and, and not focus on it, distract yourself. Um, for some of you, you know, now that the energy is flowing, it's kind of like Niagara Falls, you can't really stop it. So some of you are falling in love and that's what that shows in your strength energy. In the challenge, um, I mean, it, it really wouldn't be uh, your reading if I didn't pull the devil for you, would it, Sagittarius? Um, uh, so here we have some ruminating thoughts in the challenge. Here we feel like, you know, uh, kind of carnal desires. And so there's a rawness and there's an eagerness in your energy that is a challenge for you to control because you like it when you have control of, of the situation. And so whatever is inspiring you, motivating you, pulling you forward, um, you're thinking about a lot. You're thinking, um, you're, you're, you're really focused on it. It, it, it. There isn't a time really that this situation is not something that is heavily on your mind. And it's like, um, for those of you that can take it in the, I'm laughing because every time I pick up the love energy, it's kind of cute. It's kind of like this, um, just, uh, you know, you know, um, it's like being in a drought and you have your first long, cold glass of water and it feels so refreshing and so good and, and it feels like temptation. And that's what that feels like in your challenge energy is that, you know, this is, um, it's tempting because it's out of your control. <laughs> Sagittarius. Um, and here we, you know, you have to remember you're the fire sign, right? So, you know, you, you, um, I'm not an astrologer, so I don't know what sign belongs to what thingamajig, what zodiac sign, but, um, and for those of you that say, you know, well, you're psychic, you should pick it up. Um, yeah, I should pick up a lot of things, but I don't. I pick up what I pick up and that's it. Um, here in the, uh, in the uh, Queen of Cups in the reverse energy, again, it's showing this thing that you love, right? There's this thing out there that you've got strong feelings for, person, place, or thing, or situation. And it shows here that, wait, stop it. I'm sorry, Sagittarius, I've got a little new puppy that's sitting beside me and she's trying to eat your outcome. She's trying to eat the cards. Um, you might see her little nose appear in a minute. But um, here in the, uh, in, the, in the Queen of Cups in reverse, what it shows in your challenge is that this is a person. Uh, for those of you that can take it as a love reading, it certainly shows that this person, you're trying to control um, your feelings for them. You're trying to control your heart expanding. You're trying to control um, and limit um, how much power they have over you. So um, you're so funny, Sagittarius. What are you trying to do that for? Falling in love is very natural. And it doesn't happen to everybody. It happens once in a blue moon. And when it does happen, I mean, let it, let it flow, you know, um, let it flow. It doesn't mean here that um, there's a reason why you're stopping it. And I'm not saying that the reason is not valid, but you know, uh, falling in love with something, uh, let's say it's a person is so rare that you have to allow the energy to flow because it's the greatest force in the universe. And, you know, and even if you fall in love, let's say, and you find a passion, an outlet for your creativity, an outlet in regards to a job that you're really passionate about and you really love, then you have to let it flow, okay? Because it brings out the best in you. It's your soul. So um, here in the outcome, we have temperance. And that shows that this is 
<laughs> this requires divine timing. It feels like divine timing has been in play all along in this situation. It feels like for some of you, um, like, you know, in the beginning you were thinking wrong person, wrong time or wrong time, wrong person. And now you're um, uh, bought into it and you know because your feelings are flowing so that that is uh in the outcome here we see you um patiently waiting for who your queen of wands right so here we got the queen of cups in reverse and here we got the queen of wands in the reverse and so um your your passions are having to be tempered and you're having to hold off on letting go of that passionate energy um, to pour into this person, place, or situation. Here in the um, outcome too, <laughs> we have the Emperor and we have the Seven of Swords. And so for some of you, you're in a situation where I feel like, um, and here comes the dog, I apologize. She's gonna walk across the table and try and eat these cards. Um, um, and so what we have here is the, uh, spirit, can you bring forward like the seven of swords energy here? Um, and the emperor, tell me more about it. So what's happening here in the, um, emperor and the seven of swords is the fact that, um, you may be in a situation where this person uh, is, or place or situation um, requires some type of maneuvering. This person or situation or thing requires some type of strategy. And so what's happening here though, is that you feel um, in a way that you're manipulating the situation or for some of you, in order to bring it closer to you or to have the victory that you want, um, it, is, it is important that you implement a strategy to bring that closer to you. And so it does feel like you are strategically planning and it does feel like in a way, I mean, what, what I have here very strongly is that you are, um, Spirit, do you wanna bring it forward here? It feels like here that you're, you're focused on, I feel like there's a knowing within you that you know that this situation is for you, it's yours and you wanna take it. And you have to strategically take it. So almost as if um, you're not aware, uh, the person's not aware of, or place or situation. You wanna fly under the radar is what it looks like. Okay, now if the dog hasn't eaten your oracle cards here, we I already went over the the wizard and and uh, wizard of awareness in the very beginning there, and here we have balancing act and I went over that one as well. And here we have one ring circus right. So this shows here that you are um, really wanting to really looks like a starting over. There's a new mindset within you, Sagittarius, in the One Ring Circus here. Spirit, tell me more about the One Ring Circus. It feels like you're coming out of rocky waters. Oi, stop it. Thank you. Um, it feels like you're coming out of uh, rocky waters and your emotions were hidden for such a long time. In this person, place, or situation, especially if it's a person in a romantic situation, I feel like you are um, making yourself extremely vulnerable. It also feels here in this energy, in the outcome, that um, the situation that you're moving towards, um, there's some, there's such a contrast in regards to where you were and where you're going. And I still see you looking backwards, Sagittarius. So it feels like, you know, as you bring in the, um, the future here, it still feels like you've got one eye on the past for some reason. 
So um, at least right now, this week, that is your reading. And um, uh, Spirit, is there anything else? Balance, Spirit says. So there's, a, there's some things that you need to balance out in your life. There's some energies that you need to balance that will... Uh, the, it feels like you need that the, like something is outweighing um, you know like it feels like work or something like that do you want that card do you want that card for Sagittarius do you want that card um, <laughs> we got the knight of coins in reverse um, so this is Shirley Bassey by the way um, but I don't think she's kind of gotten her tarot reading down yet so we'll leave the card there so what it feels like is that there's something outweighed in your life that that takes a lot of your attention and so you're having to really kind of balance something out in order to attain the victory that you want so it looks like that's where your attention is and um uh for those of you that can identify with this reading please hit the like please subscribe so you're um you're uh, notified when the next reading comes out and uh, apologies for the disruptive dog and um, if you're not a dog lover um, maybe you shouldn't subscribe to my channel anyway I will talk to you soon thank you Sagittarius thank you for your patience and I will speak to you soon